so hey guys so you might have faced problems with this kind of cheap bluetooth usb dongle so when you connect it to your computer it doesn't work but the light turns on and the software also install but there is no sound so today i'm going to give you a hundred percent working solution for this so if i plug it into my computer you will see that the Bluetooth icon appears in the text bar. But when you click on it, it opens the Bluetooth settings and it might even show your uh, earphones or TWS. In my case, it's showing. Now, I will take my TWS out of my case. See, it connects immediately. So sometimes it might not connect immediately, but in my case, it did. So next, if I click on the sound or volume icon you will notice there is no bluetooth headphone option there's only speakers so let's play a video and shake now i put the tws in my ear and as you can see there is no sound is coming it shows as connected but no sound so let's move to the main solution this csr85 10 18 actually doesn't have the correct driver installed on the computer if i open the device manager you will see a generic bluetooth radio and similar entireties are installed so if i try to update them you will see there's no update happens so the reason is windows automatically installed the wrong driver for it this kind of cheap stongler basically made using the Cambridge as a Harmony silicon technology and unfortunately the Qualcomm bought it a long time ago and there is no official driver available. So here's what you need to do. So I will give you a Google driver link and the file size is around 400 megabytes and that you need to download. So you can also download it from any other website so then so just search in any browser for csr bluetooth 4.0 driver so you can find it on internet archive so there's a so just click on the qualcomm silicon cream so just click on the qualcomm cambridge silicon radio or just click on the bluetooth driver csr harmony so after that just download the iso or zip file so then extract the ISO or the zip file that I provided. So after the extraction, just install according to your system. That is 32 bit or 64 bit. So I just have installed mine already. Now if you go to the device manager and check under the Bluetooth radio section, you will see the CSR Bluetooth driver is installed. So next, go to the disk PC, and here you can here you can see an option that my Bluetooth devices. So just click on it. So when you click on it, you will see a blank white page. Just now go to the corner and just click on the Add Device. So from here, you will see many options like uh, Add Audio. Or video devices or phone so which, which, uh, whichever you want to connect so in my case I want to connect the TWS so I will just uh, uh, click on add audio or video devices so after clicking on it so after click on it it show the it shows your Bluetooth or TWS name so for in my case it's showing my Bluetooth device name so then just click on your TWS name and the next button will be activate so now just click on the next button so as you can see my TWS is now connect successfully connected so let's check now if I click on the volume icon and this time the Bluetooth option is showing so let's play a video yeah and the sound is coming now now let's talk about the another issue so just notice that the CSR Bluetooth icon is not showing the text bar even though it used to appear before. 
so for this just right click on the mouse and go to the text bar setting and then click select and then click select which icon appear on the text bar and from here even if the CSR Bluetooth 3 application is turned on just turn it off once and then turn it on again now see it's appear but it's blank now so that's fine just click on it and it will open the Bluetooth setting of CSR Harmony now let's talk about how to disconnect so just go to your TWS or whatever you use and click on it and you will see many options so from this just click on A2DP sync and now select disconnect so this will disconnect the sound but the Bluetooth will still be connected because you can as you can see the hands free profile is still a blue check mark as a, a blue check mark so disconnect it to to completely disconnect from your computer so if you want to connect it again so just can just connect the a2dp profile and everything else will be connect automatically but sometimes disconnecting on doesn't disconnect the other so you have to disconnect it manually so i hope this video will help you thank you